Would you... We can go around the table on this. Uh, at the end of the year, lose any respect or hold it against him if Jack Eichel said, I'm done. Get me out. No. Like, this is fifth year in the league. Ah, fifth. I actually think it could happen. Ah, uh, come on. I mean, uh, that smells like players, Connor McDavid they, all over again. No, they it's do worse than that. McDavid made days. the playoffs once. McDavid got his heart. McDavid, now, you earned the heart, but Eichel's dead down there. Right. He's, 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 he's it's a joke, that team. Well, They're the is. Browns. They're I, the Cleveland I, Browns. I, well, Ryan O'Reilly, they're not. why can't Jack Eichel do it? Exactly. He said, I don't want to play here. I've lost my interest in the game. This is just a joke, and I'm done here. Yeah, but how did that work out for the Buffalo Sabres? I how mean, did that work out for Bo- Ryan O'Reilly? Great, but Bottero got Stanley fleeced. Stanley Cup, Selkie Trophy. He got right. fleeced, and he's not making that mistake again. And and I'm not look, I'm not defending Bottero or the Buffalo Sabres, but you give Jeff Skinner the money that 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 he got. What's he done? The third line, nothing. Well, but he They've hasn't done nothing. I mean, he had Eichel bouncing it off him last year, and he earned the extension that he got. Mm-hmm. Marcus Johansson, they signed, who was a great player and has been. You know, he's not doing anything. I mean, it it's bizarre how things have kind of internally imploded yeah. offensively. There, I mean, it's Sam Reinhart and Jack Eichel scoring. And, and nobody it. else. Yeah. That that's is it. it. Yeah. No, that you, you're I'm right. Like, you, man. I, I think that narrative gets thrown out there because it's like we're looking at them not having success <laughs> again. And this guy's having an amazing season. Like he's a, he's oh, a legit superstar. Geez. And, you know, you, you see superstars struggle in an organization year after year. You have to wonder at what point. That's is why the I don't think point. it's that crazy that he could just it's, wake it, up. I'm not saying it's crazy. And, I'm and not. Say I'm out. I'm done. Especially yeah. in this era where the NHL is different, mm-hmm. but you look at other leagues, NFL, NBA. They're like, that's it. Sorry, yeah. guys. Like yeah. I've I've been I've been here for five years, and it, this it, is the biggest so, disaster in the NHL. I'm out. That's your problem, not mine. He would have to do it publicly. Lots of players ask for trades that never happen and aren't publicized. It happens multiple times a year. Right. Now, they're not Jack Eichel-level players, right, right. so there's zero chance that Botterill or the Pagulas, more importantly, would consider that unless he went full rogue and just Very said, simple. Right. I'm not coming back here, so trade me. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you handle it. It I, is complicated. Oh, I get it. It's complicated, but yeah, I, I, it's his career. I think maybe if 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 I was again, I, I I'm just from the outside. If it's the same situation a year from now. But what is the difference a year from I now think from today? They, they've got some pieces there. I really do. We've been saying I, that for three mm-hmm. years. Yeah. Well, they got a starting goaltender who needs experience. He's going to be really good. That Darlene's good. Like they've. And Montour is a good player. Like they've got some players there, but they can't seem to get it together. I don't know. I'm not. But there I, every the day. thing is, I don't. I don't get the impression. Again, I'm on the outside looking in, just like you. I don't get the impression like it's the players he's with that would be the problem. It's this culture that they've yeah, cultivated is, there. It's a great it's poison. It, so, it appears to be poison. I, on the short term, whether it's for Jack or whoever it's for, I think what has to happen is Terry and Kim Pagula, the owners of the Buffalo Sabres, have to come out publicly and say it's, it's unacceptable what we're doing like everybody's hearing that from ralph krueger and and you'll hear it from jason botterell who's fairly transparent and fairly accessible from a media perspective but they like that market needs to understand that there's no vote of confidence coming for jason botterell i can't imagine that they'd fire ralph and go through right. another no, coach but I, I think botterell they had has, no intentions of firing phil housley either but it got so bad they had no so choice bad. um that, that's no, like, I mean, the owners are going to have to absorb some of the oh, issues. Of course, right? it's a so, uh, bottle has got one more year left on his deal after this year. With Mike Babcock. Hmm. Well, I'll circle back on that. <laughs> Mike Harrington. Well, and, 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 but you also have, again, you've got owners who want to win more than anything. They and you, got deep you, pockets. You, and you got Ray so Shiro rich. sitting out there yeah. twiddling his thumbs. And I, again, I'm not. Mm. Bottle is, is, is trying hard, but. It's a results-driven business, and yeah, uh, as we've talked about, if, you're, if it's not getting it done, look out.